uh, my opening uh, quote says, no society has become prosperous without a major contribution from its women. This is from the United Nations 2018. Now, Zimbabwe has, uh, for 2023, the budget, we are looking at 4.5 trillion. And then we are saying that of that 4.5 trillion, public procurement accounts for uh, 20 to 25%. Of course, that's a huge chunk. And we need women to be a part of that cake. What does the future hold for women? I'm going to look at it systematically like an engineer. <laughs> Firstly, we are looking at you getting to know about the opportunities. How do you get to know about the opportunities? It's a fora like this, so we need more and more fora where women are invited and then they get to know about what's available uh, on the public procurement front, what tenders are available. And women also need to network. I know we, we, we can't forget the fact that you know, with women, we have kids to look after, we've got second kids or the husbands that we need to look after, and we still need to make money. And like what my sister said, we want it all, so it means we have to go full throttle out. Which means that, besides looking after the kids, you need to find far away and network with other women. Men network at golf, they network in the park, they get to know, ah, you know, John, uh, there's this tender, did you, did you see it? Uh, you know, put uh, this uh, one so much supply table. And you're there at home with no idea. But Michael, the next day, he's looking for that tender, and he's tendering. And you're like, oh, it's dry. It's not dry. It's just because you're alone and you get, don't know about those opportunities. So let's network, let's find the platforms to network as women, not just cry out, ah, it's hard, I've got kids to look after, I've got school pick and drops, do everything. If you want it, then you've got to do it. Yes. Now you have the information. Tendering, now you have to not do tender. Please, forward, I need everyone to know that women can also tender for the technical uh, tenders. Gone are the days, you know, when you go and say, which tender, when they see me walking in, they're like, oh, and let's say there's been a, a number of tenders that have been advertised. They'll say, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, you need the ones for the uniforms. And if I even say the one that one. There's nothing wrong about that one, but I'm here for the construction tender. That's right. So, people should just know that when you see a woman for the future, it's not just that they come for the uniform tender or for the board paper. Uh, they want the construction dinner, and that's what I'm here for. And please, for the future, when you see a woman in the office, just sell or buy what they're selling. Stop harassing them. They don't come there for sexual favors. So stop all that. Ah, so I'm madam. No, give me the ten I want to go. So please, that sexual harassment should stop. And we need the financial institutions also to come in and pay their role. You know, they should make up with special packages for women. Some women don't have title deeds. You know, it's from where we're coming from, this patriarchal society. But I know as women are striving also to own property. But at some point you don't have. But I need a loan. So there has to be that special package for me to get that loan even without the, ten, without the title deeds. And some are not employed. Some are saying, hey, you give me a pay slip. From where? I don't have a pay slip. I have money. So financial institutions also for the future, she makes sure that they cater for those women who are not formally employed. Okay, I've tendered. Uh, now, for you also to tender, you need ICT skills. Let's respect that. You know, some of us, yeah, you know, I always laugh and I say, you know what, yeah, in my age, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. I have to read, I read, how do you, how do you start a YouTube channel, how do you upload things, and I'm doing it because you just want to upskill yourself. So let's get you off these ICT skills because most of these uh, uh, tenders now are, are online, you know, e-procurement. So you need to make sure that you're moving with the time for you to be competitive. And then you've submitted your tender. Yes, you get it. Wow. Or sometimes you just find that this tender maybe they're talking of billions of dollars and don't, don't have billions. Come up with consortiums as women where you can come together and bid for that same tender. And then you work together to make sure that you deliver on that tender that you have um, consolidated and come together and at the end of the day one. Let's say you didn't win. 
we need that feedback from the procuring entities to say, you know what, uh, Joy and Joy Sons, you didn't get the tender because either um, you know, your bid was too high or you lacked this technical skill so that in the future I am better. And then after that, you get your tender, you, uh, you've won it, and you go out on the field, then just make sure that you do it well. Because remember, that one project is what will sell you. And from that project, many more projects will come. Thank you. Round of applause for PS Virginia. Our last speaker, ladies and gentlemen, uh, will take us from here. Um, Mrs. B. Mwani.